Hi there, Demystifying Dev with Victor Kane. That's what we do ourselves. Level the full stack learning curve, keep down the complexity, keep our content free by fixing a limit on vendor lock-in and paywalls. So to do this today, we have a new exciting topic, Docker Compose for creation and development of a Hugo static site generator instance. So in this video, we have some references for you on installing Docker Compose on your development system. Uh, one very important reference is the Docker Hub image recommended by Hugo for work with Docker. And Vladislav Supolov's very useful article on cleaning up after Docker. And then we'll have some uh, points raised in the video, table of contents, and all the reference links included here. You must have Docker Compose installed and running on your development system. Check out the link if you have any doubts about that. If you don't have Docker Compose on your system, go ahead and install it now. We'll wait for you. Come on back. Now, what's the plan? We want to use Docker Compose to scaffold a Hugo app from scratch even without having installed Hugo on our system. And we want to be able to clean up afterwards. Now, why? Well, it's very important because let's have for each project a nice little Docker container universe, okay, without touching the configuration of my machine. Right, that's, that's what we want to do. So we're going to use one Docker Compose file to scaffold and then we'll clean up everything. And then we'll use another Docker Compose file to bring up the newly scaffolded Hugo app in your favorite IDE, text editor, and we'll develop a project in a hot reloading environment. So we can develop, you know, we can edit and develop on our own uh, machine, um, which will be able to change the files or modify the files um, running actually in the container. You can even install several different apps, as many as you want, as long as they have different names, right? In each case, you use a different Hugo release. So, the first thing we're going to do is clone or download uh, the repo. Here we have the repo, the Docker Compose Hugo App Builder. Just click on this, and then we're just going to do a git clone. Paste in that link. But we'll call it my project, of course, as they do in all the videos. And we'll go into my project. So what do we have here? Okay, we've got a shell script, some Docker Compose files. So now that we've got this cloned, We're going to specify the site name in the dot environment variable file, right? So that we would say it's Ugo Docker for the win or whatever. Let's do that. And now editor, we'll go into my project. Uh, and what we're going to do is uh, going to enable the hidden files and we're going to edit the environment and we'll, we'll, we'll call it my project to be original. And now we're going to scaffold the code for the actual Hugo app itself. To do this, we just run the create.sh shell program. Let's see that actually running. And it's done. Let's take a look at the shell script. The shell script 
first grabs the environment variables, which is a really neat way of doing that, echoes the site just so that we know, and the site said, site said, Ugo is fast. And the reason it says that instead of my project is that I didn't save the dot environment file. So uh, we're stuck with Ugo is fast as the container name and everything. Well, okay, we can hack that. And uh, the Hugo is fast uh, script runs quickly. This is actually Hugo saying that the, the new Hugo site is being created. How is that done? Basically, Docker Compose ran itself and then ran again and cleaned up after creating the site. If we look at the Docker Compose file, we can see that all it does is grab the Alpine version, in other words, the smallest version there is of the Hugo image, specify the container name according to what's in the dot environment file, um, and spun up a new site by saying, okay, Hugo, which is running, new site, whatever the name is, and thanks to the volumes specification here, we have everything uh, right on our disk drive. Um, let's take a look at that. If we take a look at what's in here, we can see that there's a directory, Hugo is fast, which is our project. Let's go in there, take a look and see what we've got. Okay, we've got a we've got a Hugo site. We even have a, a little git ignore sent in there. We've got the environment, so that we, we're going to be working with our new Docker Compose file, which is actually going to run this. So in order to, to do this, all we have to do is Docker Compose up. It's that easy. And now we're running. If we look on localhost 1313, we'll see nothing, which is great. So we've already run our new Hugo project, right? Um, but it doesn't have any content yet. That's why we're seeing the screen blank. So let's, let's just add a default layout here and we'll, we'll put a home page template in there that simply echoes Hello Brave World. So in our editor, we'll actually go to our layouts directory and we're gonna create a default directory with a home page template. Here we're just gonna put Hello world, very original. We'll save that. And of course, if we put tags, a tag in, that will work. And later on, we'll have variables and so on and so forth. And there's our P elements paragraph. Cool. So we've run our project and now we can start developing on it. So there we are. Um, just point your browser, that's what we did, 1313 port. Made some changes in the IDE or the text editor. Now we can go forth and create one too many Hugo apps without ever having installed Hugo on our laptop.